Uh, all right, first I want to give a great big shout out to John and his security talk. I uh, was actually really impressed by that. Big reason I'm here is I go to a lot of security conferences and hacker cons, and guess what? It's a big echo chamber. Security people telling security people to do security things. So I bought a last minute ticket here. So I'm Movhead, uh, also known as Nate. I started out with an operations background, did system administration, then moved into more offensive security, defensive security. Uh, and all that good stuff. Probably would have wound up in DevOps if I'd have actually stayed on the sysadmin track. So again, I'm from security, and this is kind of a broad term. Everything from vuln management to risk management to compliance. For this, I'm mostly talking about how it kind of relates to DevSecOps, but also if you have a dedicated security team. That security team is very frequently seen as a blocker. We're the guys that tell you, you can't do what you're doing, and you got to slow down because we have to do a bunch of slow stuff like run scans and reports, and it's going to take a while. We'll get back to you in a week. I'm here to say that we actually can enable you, and proper security does enable the business as well as all of the people working in that pipeline. How exactly can we enable you? Well, by going with one of the core principles of high velocity. We don't need to get in your way, and John talked a lot about this, and we're going to do a meetup afterwards on it. We can hook into all of the wonderful places in the pipeline and also enable developers, engineers, and everyone else to better integrate. A good security team should be doing this, and there's definitely a shift on my side of the fence that old security was looking at things from a checklist and a slow process. Security, just as much as development and operations, has to speed up. Why this really matters is risk. There's always going to be risk within the business. There's also going to be technical risk, and at some point we have to acknowledge that and deal with it. Frequently the question is who actually owns that risk. Is it the developer who might have written the bug in the code? Is it the operations people that were trying to manage and deploy it? And more often than not, at a very high level, it's the business. Risk is very frequently treated separately from business risk. So when we're talking about security risk, businesses are often like, well, we do our whole other thing in security. Uh, you're just in a silo. Deal with it yourself. Rather than trying to deal with security in that manner, which often leaves developers and engineers feeling like, well, that's not my problem. I'm just not even going to care because that's security's problem and that's the business's problem. I've got deadlines to meet, and I don't really give a crap. So there's still going to be challenges in this. Um, not everything is going to go smoothly, and a lot of this comes from, are you an engineering-driven company? Are you a very business-centric company where everything is top-down? However, a good security team can help enable and improve all of this. A big part of this is going to come back to that idea that we allow you to do your job better, faster, and safer without getting in the way. So a lot of that comes down to the, the pipeline hooking in at every stage, as John demonstrated again very beautifully. On top of that, uh, communication is pretty critical. Uh, from what we do at my company, our security team frequently does get-togethers with anyone that wants to come out, and we basically teach people how to break their own apps, which is a common thing in security, except it usually doesn't include how to fix them. So that's a big thing we're pushing. Uh, community is really, really, really important. I'm glad everyone is here, and I made a last-minute uh, effort to be here as I started getting more frustrated with uh, the ongoing echo chamber of security. Within the community, uh, there's a lot of other great groups like OWASP and LastCon. Uh, for anyone that's not local, reach out into your own uh, backyard neighborhoods. Uh, I owe everything to community, uh, and I think that it's great to see everyone here. I'm actually doing a strong push to get more people from security and hackers at conferences like this. I think far too frequently we silo ourselves to our own back padding and don't actually come out to talk to the people that can make change and actually affect things. Uh, so again, we're doing a uh, open space. This will be in suite uh, 924 at 140. There's actually a bunch of other people that have jumped on top with this, so we'll have a few different things from uh, tools, uh, general Q&A and all that good stuff. Uh, again, I'm Movhead, I'm all over Austin and lots of different communities and need to make a better effort to get more involved with this one. So, thank you very much. There you go.